power switch is located right here. So on this side, if you notice, you have two double wires and two single wires. As long as the colors match up, it doesn't matter from side to side. So I'm gonna remove all my connections and I'm going to inspect, make sure I'm not burned or charred. And we are. These are already discolored. So I'm going to change those connectors. Cut off the old connector. Want to make sure you have this unit unplugged when you're doing all this. But you got it running, right? And I'm going to strip back a little bit of wire. My new spade connector will go on just like so. Use my crimpers. I'm going to make sure that's nice and tight. Whenever you change one of these, you always want to give it a little tug, make sure it doesn't fall off. This one is charred as well. Cut that back. And I'm going to strip a little bit of wire. My new connector will slide on. And a little bit of a tug. This power switch, it's held in with little tabs on the top and the bottom. So I'm just going to press up on those tabs and then down on the bottom ones. Sometimes you do need to use something to press on them and push out. And there's our old power switch. Our new power switch, we can either use OEM, which there's our part number, or aftermarket. I'm going to be placing a OEM switch into this one. If you notice your wires or your connectors are offset, you want the open space on the bottom, this new switch. We'll just press into place. I'm going to view my blue double wire on the bottom, my blue single on the top. 